I read something this week. Very simple, but boy, it was profound to me in this moment. It said, Lord, help me to make it through this storm so that my life can be a guidebook for those who go through the same thing. If you're not here, how can your life be that guidebook to those that need to see you sometimes? Because people in this room need to see you. People that hadn't even walked into this room, they need to see you because you're an overcomer. Some of you in this room, you give me hope every single Sunday because you are an example to me of what it means to be ostracized and what the church has told you and you choose to walk in here every single week, not because of what they said, but because you love God. And you remind me to get back to the basics of what this is about every single week. And I thank you for that because your life has been a guidebook for me. And I mean that. I know it's not been easy for some of you. I know that some of you have gone through hard times with families. I know that some of you have lost those dearest to you. I know that some of you have been rejected and you still choose. But guys, it doesn't end there. We take it further because there are people out there that need to see you as their guidebook. So why do we sit here today? Why do we sing our songs of praise? Why do we even walk in these doors? And if you're watching, we want to see you here too, but we're good that you're watching us as well. But we want you to know you are welcome here. You matter here and we love you. So why? Because the Holy Spirit brings us all together to do things we could never do alone. That was we. Because the Holy Spirit brings us all together to do things we could never do alone.